Okay, so we did the CI, uh, which is kind of the model. We got the model trained and evaluated and registered that model, right? So that we can see clearly in our models available to us. Now let's look at the how do we consume that model in a container instance? Okay, as a part of whatever we had our. So let's let's come back or circle back to what we were supposed to do. So we are completed this part. And we completed this part as part of our installation. Okay, now we are going towards this path, which is going. We did the model registration and model is ready to be deployed on ACI. So here we are now. Okay, so let's do that. Now, part of this, what I'm trying to do here is uh, we can get, we can now even run the same uh, pipeline. Okay, so I'm not renaming this again because I was just showing you. Now you have a hold of how we are getting through those pipelines. Okay, so let me show you how that pipeline looks for while you do the deployments. Okay, now obviously it is going to take some artifacts. Okay and uh, trying to deploy as a part of this particular mod trying to deploy this model on ACI, right? So our pipeline is model train ACI, that's correct. It, and uh, we are trying to get some variables as well as our uh, naming conventions with the help of those groups, that's okay. Deployment name, obviously the variable uh, is set for us. We are doing that, okay? Now these are the steps which we are taking in internal to that, right? That means connecting to that ACI with the help of Azure install Azure ML CLI. We are doing these particular steps. Okay, first of all is getting the extension added and then with the help of uh, the AC also getting that model deploy on ACI. So these are all command lines. That is the reason we are using the task which is CLI task and finally testing this. Let's run this as our service connections are intact our model is registered let's try to see how it this gets deployed and as of now we don't have the aci or container instance here right so you will see the container instance once we deploy this let's try to run this uh, while we do the deployment on aci let's do that That's okay. So at least here what we are doing is we are actually pulling these uh, first of all the Python image okay from the Docker public repository so that at least we have something on which we can deploy or implement that particular model okay so that is the reason we are pulling that image from the Docker. At the end of the day this is kind of an OS and we are uh, deploying our apps on top of that. This is downloading that particular model for us. And then deploying on the. This is extension install for ML and then deploy because for container does not knows what the ML is all about. So first of all, that extension should go in, go in while we deploying this on 
एसी आए Well, actually, it gets through the registries as well. Okay, so you can go to your container registry and check for what repository or image you want to have for that. Okay, so this will actually have that ML image, which is uh, which is kind of a and deployment will be done on the ACI because Workspace has an integration with your container registry as well as your key vault for the secrets. As this is running, I think parallelly what I can do here is I can have the AKS also created less cluster within that particular pipeline. OK, so within that com uh, ML workspace, so I'm creating from that ML workspace itself. If you see the compute, I've just gone to the compute and I came to the inference cluster created this AKS cluster and the before this, what I was trying to do is uh, I was running the scoring pipeline, which is running here. Batch scoring. That is. I'm just trying to do the parallel work so that we save some time. Okay, so there are two things running. One is for your AKS, where we have to deploy our model, and there one is for our scoring. Okay, so that cluster is completely different. The way you have the train cluster, now this is a scoring cluster. So there are two different things going at point of time. So once this gets resized to the respective node, this will get the uh, the pipeline for scoring. Will start running, which is at queued at this point of time, right? So this scoring step will run after that. So now again coming back to our actual architecture diagram. So I just want to reflect it. Where we are as of now. So we did as a part of environment creation this. OK, then we did a CI. Which completed this part. We we are we did the ACI deployment. This this was the part and we are also running the scoring, right? So that is also 
the scoring algorithm we are running on top of this particular. Uh, I, I think I would, it's a mix of both. One is, one is for code quality, another is for scoring on the model deployment. OK, and parallelly now we are working on getting the AKS deployed so that we can also deploy the model on this part. So once we have this, I think this particular uh, loop is complete for us and then we can have all the assets done as part of this hands on lab. So let us go, come back to the score cluster. Still resizing. Should be here. So at times this will be taking like if you are seeing here, this is showing the resizing. OK, so it takes some time before it goes to that node. OK, so you have to be patient before I think this goes or complete the resizing part. So it can some it it happens many a times between 15 to 20 minutes, but it can take more than 30 minutes as well. The reason is simple. We can't just keep the compute running 24 by 7. Meanwhile, let's see if AKS cluster that also is still getting created. And also you will see that in our resource group as well. Okay. So this will be the name uh, deployment name. Which I have to use while I do the deployment. So let me put in my variable or library. This will come here as well once it completes.
OK, so this is done. Now we should go back to our pipeline to see where. Now it should, should turn from queued to running. So this step should turn from queued to running. Uh, moment while it detects the. Scoring cluster is ready, right? Yeah, just turn to running now.
So meanwhile, just checking if AKS is ready or not. Still creating. So these pipelines takes time because it has to do a lot of the background comparison work in form of the data list you can say or kind of the data frames you can say. OK, so what it does is at, at back end it takes uh, whatever CSV file we provided and then it compares that with the data uh, on which we are trying to model and see the accuracy. So that is where this all Comparison and finally it gives gives you out whether that person is diabetic or not. OK, so as I said, like if you want to understand the background of this from the ML perspective or what kind of algorithms we can use, you have to use the. The. The basics on succession uh, which we did. Past OK uh, last week. So from that, I think you can also look at what kind of the uh, data you have with you and which are the documentation you have to refer for ML. Okay, so that will give you all uh, different algorithms, uh, whether to go for uh, the prediction, whether to go for time series, all those things you will get from those particular documentation. OK, so now we are about. Complete this particular batch scoring. OK, so we are done with the batch scoring as well. OK, so this. Uh, Pipeline is done. Now, uh, once we have our AKS ready, then we will complete the, our final part, which I have shown you from the. Okay, so we did this, right? Then we did the scoring on top of that, right? Uh, to which was kind of the code. Uh, what is the code quality plus uh, the scoring on the model? OK, so that we did now last part is for AKS, which we are just going trying to deploy here. OK, so once that is done, I think we should be able to complete this particular uh, architecture implementation. So for that, let us look at the compute. See if AKS is still doing its part. Yeah, until it completes, I think we won't be able to run that pipeline. Our cluster name is there should be there soon i think this should be completed soon now because we got the cluster name so finally it has to assign this i think this should match with the deployment name which we see in the azure yeah So now last pipeline which is remaining for us is on AKS that this again same CD for AKS. Let let me also enable this first. Okay, so that we can run this. And then I'll check for exactly the same thing about from where it gets the build artifacts, right? So build pipeline is equally important, like from where it gets the trigger. Uh, the way I have the reason I disabled it is not got triggered automatically. Otherwise, this could have uh, done automatically as well. OK, so again, model and train CI is the pipeline which triggers variables and deploying it to AKS. OK, and then getting all the relevant artifacts and model deployment is using the Azure ML extension. OK, this is what and finally the smooth test. So ideally for each ACI, web app, or AKS, we will have similar kind of steps. Connecting using Azure ML, okay, deploying that model on top of that and doing the smoke test. These are the three steps you will do quite often. Irrespective of uh, which, 
from or what kind of data you are dealing with these steps remains common. So the other, other part which I want to add on top of what the way we created our ML environment. So if you create this after your ML workspace is ready, you should be able to attach, attach this cluster within inference. OK, so that uh, that also you can do directly within uh, the pipeline. The only uh, only addition which I did to the ML environment with a case cluster is if I want to show you the ARM deployments. So ideally what we had was we had this part. For the deployment, so what I got was apart from this, I got the template for this cluster as well. OK, so that is the reason I'm deploying the AKS inference cluster on top of that. So that I will leave on you to create that and if required, I think help you. Uh, how this is basically creating the way you are creating your AKS inference cluster have that template with you and uh, both uh, the template file as well as a parameter file and both are kept in the the environment setup under arm templates so this is what i have shown you uh, in morning while i was uh, about to deploy this environment right so that's all i i believe uh, from the code which i'm using for deploying this particular infrastructure as well as uh, these pipelines. So now let's let's look at this. The compute if that is ready, I think. So yeah. Finally, we are done uh, with this. Now let's run the CD for AKS. OK, again, first thing to check was obviously I have this enabled this and then all of these parameters we have gone through what kind of the CLI and then finally the smoke test. OK. So let's try to run this and I have already updated my name uh, for this particular compute here, which should match with uh, the whatever you have here, like ends with 9821 so that that I have as a part of this. OK, so just make sure you update that before you run that pipeline. Otherwise this will fail. Let's do that. Okay. We run this. So now only one part which I not completed is for web app, which is again listed step by step guide. So I think I would leave that to you. Uh, how you complete that because that will be kind of a parallel pipeline. OK, so what we completed as a part of this is. From ACI and AKS deployment perspective. OK, like this, OK. You only are have to do this afterwards, but this can be parallel as well. OK, so this while you deploy this, this is how this will look like. That means uh, you have the CI, uh, you do the training part, you deploy to ACI, do the smoke test. OK, similarly you deploy to AKS, which is a part of production or from here onwards CI directly you deploy to AKS in spite of ACI. Okay, This is the parallel step you can do for web app 
and it, the instructions also there for how you create the web app deployment on top of this. So, so that's all about this particular deployment, okay, which you have to do. And now coming back to the pipeline, it will uh, do exactly the same step it did for ACI. The only difference is now it deploying to AKS. Image uh, uh, deployment will be the same. That is the of the model which we want. Also team, this recordings will be available to you. I think by tomorrow afternoon, I will try to make sure I upload that on the channel so that you can access these recordings. Uh, also the previous concept sessions and whatever we did uh, from the past. OK, so all are available to you uh, at your access. OK, so this channel is available like what we did from the basics of DevOps. Then going back to actually creating the pipelines. That is also available along with these advanced workloads. So this is kind of image registration the way we do uh, for others. I think as I said, this is closely closely related to the registry as well as keyboard. So you can always come to the content registry and see what kind of the packages it is trying to get from. Okay, so you can always come here and get those things. Now, now here. This is all about your uh, AKS as well as ACI. If it comes for the web app, there is there will be separate uh, package uh, kind of uh, the way we have zip files. So that will also be there, uh, which we deployed as a part of web app. So that because web app also supports content deployment. So that is the addition part once once you do the uh, deployment on web app. Okay. So I think it was pretty straightforward. I think we did with the AKS as well. OK, so just to summarize what we did was. Coming back to the repo, OK. So. We come so we just completed the AKS now CD deployment part. OK, so this is deployed now just to summarize what we did. Is with the help of deployment uh, with the help of devops we deployed this end to end architecture for ml okay so i'm just coming to that architecture this, this is what we did environment creation a repository this is what it is model ci or model train ci pipeline this was the work done then cd ci on aci this was the work done CD deployment on AKS. This was the work done, and also we did the scoring, right? So that scoring also came uh, as a part of your code quality check, and uh, finally uh, checking the model scoring, right? So that we did. So with that, I think we complete this end-to-end -end, uh, deployment of 